Galeno City Council Member Joe Alindahau. Did I pronounce it right this time? See? I learned. Okay. Galeno City Council Member Brian Osorio. Kern County Superior Court Judge Chad Louie. Delano High School Board President Lionel Reyna. Delano High School Board Member Arnold Morrison. Oh, he's videotaping. How's it going? We were chatting a little while earlier. Delano High School Board Member Art Armanderas. And Superintendent Jason Garcia. Delano Elementary School Board member Irene Martinez. <laughs> Elementary Board member Frank Pereira Jr. <laughs> Elementary Board member Suzanne Villarus. <laughs> <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Business Sandra Rivera. <laughs> and Superintendent Rosalina Rivera. <laughs> Also with us today, Delano Chamber of Commerce President and CEO, Janet Rabinall. <laughs> and also Delano Police Department Chief, Robert Navarez. I could have done these together. Hubert Rabinall, Delano, uh, uh, I'm sorry, President of North Kern Cemetery Board. <laughs> could have done the husband and wife together. Uh, Matt Cothran with Delano Regional Medical Center, also the past Delano Chamber President. And Danny Ordez, am I reading that right? Uh, founder of Philippine Weekend. Danny? My chicken scratch is terrible, sorry. We have Dr. Marvin Campos with Kaiser Permanente Kern County. Our Mabuhai Spirit Award winners, Chio and Butter Gonzalez. We'll have you guys talk in just a few seconds. And of course our grand marshals this year, a whole family. This year we had to do big. San Juan family, congratulations to you guys as well. So we have some awards to hand out now for some fancy people here. I want to introduce again Congressman T.J. Cox to hand out some awards. recognize special people, events, circumstances, and I had the pleasure to recently read into the United States Congressional Record the permanent written history of the United States, a proclamation on behalf and of a recognition of Lucio Gio Gonzalez and Butter Torres Gonzalez. And and please, if you'll permit me, I'd like to read what I had to say into the record. Madam Speaker, I rise today to recognize the, le the leadership of Lucio Chio Gonzalez and Butter Torres Gonzalez. Together, this couple has dedicated over 60 years of community and public service to the city of Delano, California and the Central Valley. A native of Life, California, Mr. Gonzalez settled in the Central Valley in the 1950s after spending early years working as a migrant farm worker in the region's rich agricultural fields. Mr. and Mrs. Gonzalez met in the historic farm worker community of Delano and were married on November 24th, 1956. The couple took over ownership and operation of the People's Market in 1969, and the two worked together side by side, managing the grocery store in Delano for 40 years. 
Mr. and Mrs. Gonzalez formed a strong bond over the years with the Filipino community of Delano. The two have served as advocates and allies for the inclusion and representation of Filipinos in Delano civic life. They played an instrumental role in electing Leonard T. Velasco to the Delano City Council in 1972, the first Filipino-American ever to serve on an elected body. Mr. and Mrs. Gonzalez has also worked to ensure the success of Delano's Philippine Weekend Community Celebration over the last 45 years. They have helped build the event from a small community gathering all those years ago to a large month-long festival that draws thousands of visitors from across the country. It is fitting that Mr. and Mrs. Gonzalez are being honored by the community the 2019 Mabuhay Award. Madam Speaker, I urge my colleagues to join me in recognizing Lucio Chio Gonzalez and Butter Torres Gonzalez for their dedication and service to the Filipino community of Delano, the city of Delano, and the Central Valley. T.J. Cox, Member of Congress, 21st Congressional District of California. Thank you so much, Chio and Butter. And with that, I wish you all Magandang Dong Bye Bye! Congressman Cox, thank you very much. Now, it's my pleasure to invite up Ricardo Del Hoyo, field, rep field representative for California State Senator Melissa Hurtado to also make some proclamations. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ricardo Del Hoyo. I'm here on behalf of State Senator Melissa Hurtado. The senator could not be here this afternoon, but she wanted to make sure that I was here to represent our office and congratulate the 2019 Philippine Weekend Grand Marshals. Uh, starting off with Roberto and his wife that have instilled not only history, culture, and their values to their family and to this community. Um, whether, they're, whether they live here in Delano or they've moved away, they've, they've came back and made sure that we keep this tradition alive. And so it's an honor for me to present a certificate of recognition on behalf of State Senator Melissa Hurtado and Assemblyman Rudy Salas for their great leadership and their great work for the 2019 Philippine Weekend Grand Marshals. Now, I'd also like to bring up the executive board. We were able to provide a resolution on behalf of Senator Melissa Hurtado and Rudy Salas, Assemblyman Rudy Salas, resolved by both of them that Filipino Weekend be recognized on the event of its 45th annual festival, commending for enhancing the cultural life of the local community and extended best wishes for continued success in the future. Joint Members Resolution Number 343 dated this 27th day of July 2019. Absolutely. I got one more. I wanted to recognize the chairperson for this year's 2019 weekend, uh, Philippine weekend, Delilah Mascarinas. We didn't tell her that we had a special certificate for her, but we wanted to make sure to thank her for all the work. I know that when we received the invitation, it was like three pages long, and it's not just one day, it's not just one weekend, it's a full month of uh, festivities. So thank you so much for all of your hard work and dedication. Can you guys hear me? All right. Thank you very much, Ricardo. Now I'd like to bring up Field Representative Eric Arias with Assemblymember Rudy Salas's uh, office to have a couple of proclamations as well. Good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing? Good, good. I just want to point out, it is such an honor and privilege for me to be sitting down in this special group of people. Um, what a wonderful and amazing group of uh, community advocates. Um, my name is Eric Arias. I'm here on behalf of State Assembly Member Rudy Salas's office. And like Kiyoshi mentioned, I have a couple of gifts that I'm going to be uh, providing to some very special people here. 
Um, these first two have already been awarded a resolution, but I just want to say over the past half year, it has been my honor and privilege to get to know Butter and Chio um, and all of the wonderful work that they've done for not only the community, um, but uh, for, for Philippine Weekend for so, so many years. Um, and so on behalf of State Assemblymember Rudy Salas' office, on behalf of State Senator Melissa Hurtado's office and the State Legislature, I'm going to present certificates to Butter Gonzalez for being the 2019 Philippine Weekend Mabuhay Award recipient and to Chio Gonzalez for being the 2019 Philippine Week of Weekend Mabuhay Award recipient. Thank you for your lifelong dedication to serving the community of Delano. Thank you. Let's give it up for them one more time. All right. And then in the row behind them, if I could have all of the pageant court, if, all, if I could have all of the court come up, including the tiny tots. Can I just say, I cannot imagine doing what these young fellows are doing at the age that they are doing it. So incredible testament to your guys' poise, your strength, and your courage for, for being able to uh, put yourself out there. Um, and, and represent the community well. So, on behalf of State Assembly Member Rudy Salas's office, and on behalf of State Senator Melissa Tato's office, I would like to congratulate you all. And I have some certificates for everybody, so it's going to give me a, give me a second to get this out to you. So, I have Eleni Leah De La Mente, in honor of being the 2019 Miss Philippine Weekend Court Princess. Next, we have Leanne Raffinen, in honor of being the 2019 Miss Philippine Weekend Court Princess. Congratulations. Shakila. Shakila. Next, we have uh, Jaden Contorna, for being the 2019 Philippine Weekend Tiny Tots Court Princess. Congratulations. Next, we have Bea Mendoza, in honor of being the 2019 Philippine Weekend Tiny Tots Court Princess. Congratulations. Next, we have Jacob Ritter, for being the Tiny Tots Court King. Congratulations. And last but not least, we have Kumba Diallo, in honor of being the 2019 Philippine Weekend Tiny Tots Court Queen. Oh, excuse me, I thought that was the last one. Um, lastly, we have Zakela Nario Cavico in honor of being the 2019 Miss Philippine Weekend Court Queen. Congratulations.